The statement he made was in May. The subsidy was to go by June. In politics, one day is enough to do the miracle or the damage. But what is the essence of you are saying in your inaugural speech that you are going to inflict more pain on the people? He said he was going to lead. Leadership is defined as the ability to influence people through inspiration, not intimidation or manipulation. That was a demonstration of arrogance of power, not humility of purpose. Now, when you are a leader, what is your purpose? Is it to inflict more pains on the people? No. And you have to be humble about it. Especially when the problem emanated from the incompetence and dishonesty of leaders, not from the complicity of the people. Now, let me start by saying, so that you do not misinterpret me as ever supporting anything about oil fuel subsidy. If there is anything that irritates me to my bones, is the issue of subsidy. I wouldn't have voted for anybody who said he was going to maintain oil subsidy. And I'm very serious about that. What is the wisdom in, a, in an oil producing country paying more than 7 point something trillion to foreign countries to refine your oil and send it back to you? You paying their shipping line, you building their refineries abroad. When you have your four refineries already built. So you support his move. Mm. As you were going in. So what I'm saying is when you want to remove it, there are two fundamental bases. And I talk now as an economist. That you must fulfill in order to make sure that you don't destroy the economy before building it post oil subsidy. And the two basic econometrics that you must achieve. You must saturate the system with fuel and you must ensure there is no monopoly when you saturate the system with fuel elementary economics will teach you that when supply is excess it maintains a cap on the price however no matter how supply is entrenched if there is monopoly the monopoly through shylock mentality of making profit can still manipulate the supply in order to make sure that the price gets haywire I give you an example with OPEC. OPEC can throw its weight around. Even when the supply is there and they don't like the price, they simply cut the supply and the price will jack up. That is what is happening in Nigeria. You should factor it in. Some people have been feeding big on that general corrupt tendency of oil subsidy manipulation to fill in their pocket. So when you want to deal with such things, you have to be careful coming out you don't need to pronounce it like i said why i said it's a demonstration of arrogance of power he just you just want to tell people that <laughs> as president my word is law nothing else because the other regime has given you a leeway what he said is unlawful he said oil subsidy is gone no what he said is not true he said there was no appropriation for what he knew in the budget for oil subsidy no there was and it ought to end by june if you end it today that means the june allocation for oil subsidy will be died by some elements of criminal tendencies because they would have jacked up the price before exhausting the subsidy which is already a matter of law which is already in the appropriation act so there was everything wrong with that pronouncement and it is anti-labor, it is anti-people, not because that I support oil subsidy, mm. but because of the recklessness with which they are 51 pipes projected into your official pipe, taking the oil. You have 51 entities that are already corrupt that is going to mitigate against you. Labor say, we are going to cut corruption 50% immediately will come in. We are going to increase the supply of the fuel, granting licenses to modular refineries. We are going to encourage Nigerians to participate freely in the product God has given to them free of charge. When we do that, and we would have done it within even a month, then we will take out oil subsidy, that irritation called oil subsidy. And let me tell you, there is already a border to that. 
take the telecommunication industry as an example when they came in they did not encourage monopoly nitel was a monopoly organization mm. just as this government is erroneously allowing nmpc to be the only monopolist meaning they can do any racketeering they want when they want to give the license they make sure they give to more than one a connect and mtn if i can remember and immediately telecommunication had checks and balance but even the two was not enough you know what mtn said MTN said they cannot go into second per second billion until 10 years. And they were charging 50 naira per second of call. Two years after that, they put in Glow. Glow started with second per second billion. And MTN found the technology that they couldn't find. And immediately resorted to second to second billion. Today, despite all the halabalo going on in our environment economically, telecommunications price is still maintained and still stable that is what would have happened to our oil some criminal leaders led us into oil subsidy that ought not to have been there dangote spent 19 billion dollars to rebuild his refineries and these people have spent more than that and they could not repair their refineries you can see the gap in criminality and corruption the leader you would have factored that in that was what i told you about the monopolist and the inevitability of racketeering in a corrupt society you as a leader would have factored it in and not make that unguarded statement you should have known that would be the result right well that statement has been made yes what do you think should happen now retract it <laughs> go back say sorry that was not what i meant yeah but they've tried to explain it you haven't you heard that a new price has already been issued when you're still talking about uh, they are proceeding on the trajectory of their mistake because it's a demonstration of arrogance of power i told you that mm. not humility of purpose which should be a humble person will say no 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 it's already a matter of law right we do not intend, and there was no way I meant that subsidies removed. It's already a matter of law. Mm. It must face its way through June. But you see, that arrogance will not make them to have respect enough for the Nigerian people to quench their suffering. And that's why I said, they don't inspire us. They intimidate and manipulate us. And that's not leadership. 